<coughs> Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Brother Mosi, Oluwa Damlala, or you can call me Olifada. And so today we are going to be working on the Emax project, Emax JLS project. Uh, just let's go on. <coughs> so uh, one thing there today is as we'll be working on the project, we I know we are supposed to get connected. Uh, um, to the terminal, the like terminal through the sandbox. Uh, to come to the webcam, uh, the web time you click on it and start. But most of the time, I'm always having issues with the web time, and I just like working in my own environment. So I'll be using my my environment setup, which is which is the um, Kali Linux. So since I'll be using my Kali Linux, so what I have to do is I have to clear of my client um, connect my Kali Linux through to the ALX terminal using the um, secure shell, right? So what I'll just do first, uh, and you can try this on your own too later. So I'll just come here, click on the secure shell, automatically it's going to copy it. So now I'll just type the SSH that the, then I'll just come and paste here. So if you look at this now, this is secure shell and you can see um, the host and the, um, and, the, and, the, and the group, the user. And also, you see uh, that it is alex code dot online. And what I'll just do is to press enter. This is going to try to connect. So it's going to ask me for password. I think it is uh, the establishment is already made. So I'll put in my password. So on on Kali, when you are inputting your password, it is actually not going to show you the password. So you must be certain of what you are, you are typing. So the password on Kali, it is. Um, you can see the password here, so it's nothing. There's nothing to write here. So it is E A four eight one C three one C two F six F F C E A three five seven. So hopefully I'm correct and enter. So let us see if this is going to connect. Give us connection. So voila, there's a connection between. Uh, my Kali and um, ALX itself. So I could actually just go to my route and see maybe I could actually see some previous projects that I've done on route. Just let me see because most of the ALX program is always in route. So LS, so uh, it is connected already. <coughs> so I'm in route. So the first. Um, so the first question that I was asked. Us, um, I was asked by, um, by Alex that is to create your own um, answer directory. So he said, navigate to root, that is um, forward slash root, and create a directory name um, zero, uh, zero 02 emac. So you can see here, this is the question. Let me highlight the question for you. And this is the question. So we are going to try to answer this question now, and we are going to check. Uh, our code to see if we are correct. So the first thing I want to do is to check my working directory. You get so I come here, I check my working directory. You get to make sure that I'm inside slash root. So you can see right now I'm inside um, slash root. So uh, because I'm inside root, so if I was not inside root, so I will have just um, do cd slash root. You get then I'll have been inside. So you can see when I was not inside root, what I did was cd slash root. I'm inside root. And when I ls, this is what I have inside my, these are the um, files and directories I have inside my slash root. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a directory. Um, so then also we use, make a directory with mkdir and the directory is zero, um, x02 uh, underscore emacs. Right, so which must and you must um, whenever we are creating our director or we are making any changes, we should always follow what was given to us. Right, so press um, enter. So let us check what we've created if it is created. So to check what is created, we can actually just do ls stack l and um, we go for slash root and for slash uh, for slash root. Then so we can see. Uh, we have this directory here already. So we have the zero, um, x02 emac already inside. So we can actually come here and click and um, check our code. 
<coughs> check our code stats. So since it's connected and it's supposed to reflect. So code checked and voila, we are good to go. Close. So we click done. So we are done with that. So the next one that is telling us to do that, telling us to do again is uh, what is the command to open a file from within Emac? Right? And we are told to write the answer into the slash root slash um, the directory we created is zero um, x02 underscore emac slash opening. Meaning we have to create a directory called opening and we have to put our answer inside the open. So the command to open a file in emac. So emac is something, it's it, uh, it a program that, that we, we really need to really understand well. And when you are creating, um, when we want to create um, uh, a, 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 a file in, in Emac, or we want to create a, we want to create a file in Emac, we make use of um, a command called um, um, that is um, to create to so that is cxcf. You can cxcf. So that is c tag x c tag f. But so we have to also create a file called opening in our. Um, Terminal here. Yeah. So to create a file, so a lot of people create file with Tosh. You can use CAT. You know, you know, CAT is actually for viewing file in Linux, but also you could actually use something like CAT. Um, um, so yeah, so let's you can use something like CAT. Um, that is less than greater than. So that is CAT greater than sign, and you put um, the name of the file, right? Name of the file, right? When you do that, so it's actually always created. Um, but for this. For this, uh, and also they want us to put um, the, our answer. So to create, um, if, um, to open a file in Emac, get we have to use cx. So we want to put that file. We want to put it. Um, what we, I said that our answer should be put inside the opening. So what we actually do is, so instead of just um, creating the file separately and doing that, um, um, putting the answer separately. So we could actually just do it at once, and we could just echo um, our answer into. Um, the file that we'll be creating. So to do like that, so you could actually still use echo to also to list the content of the file. So, so we just do something like echo. So you can see we do echo uh, capital letter C, X um, capital letter C, um, that F. We get, and we are going to put the greater than sign and also we are going to put um, opening. Yeah, opening. Opening. So put opening. So once we do that and we press, um, that's opening. Yes, that's all we are supposed to do, right? So we press enter. So automatically, so when we do our LS, um, you can see our Emacs. So we can do um, CD. Let us just, let us go inside that. So CD um, times 0 to underscore Emacs. So let us enter. Um, let us LS, we get. So, to, to check our code, we can check our code. All we can do is um, we can put our emacs with echo opening. I think it is not there. And yes. So let us see the so sorry, made a mistake. I created it outside, uh, so I'm actually not. So let me. This is what I created. Please let me remove. Uh, so mistakes like this happen this time. So you, you need to be careful. So let us enter inside Emac CD to underscore Emac, right? So now that it's confirmed that we are here, so we do the same thing again to open so we are just going to echo 
echo um, I C X C F and greater than sign and opening. So I have to check the spelling and the spelling is correct. And the spelling is correct. And we press enter. So to check our code right now, so we are going to do to check our code. Uh, we can go back outside and cd and to check our code we do cd first slash root um, first slash zero zero two match and slash opening mm, just check here so to see what is inside our image to list what is added to do sort uh, opening so our answer is already here. You can see our answer is inside opening already. So to view the content of the content inside opening, we use sort. So let us check our code now to see if it is correct. So come back to the LX and start your test. So our code is correct. So we move on. Then the next one is um, what is the command to save a file as an emac and write your answer into um, root the emac directory and inside saving. Yeah, so we should put our answer here. So the same step since we are already inside emac already. So how do we save file? So the first thing we are going to do um, is to create just to create file in emac is actually this command um, we use c x and we use um, c s that is to create file on emac so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be echoing automatically since we are already inside emac we have to create a file called savings and put our answer inside the file so what we are going to do is since we are already on emac we just echo uh, c x c s and greater than and inside saving Saving right and we click enter. So when we click enter, we can ls and we can see now that we have opening and we have saving. And when we sort saving, um, let's see our answer is there. So we come back here and we check our code to see if we are correct. And see if we are correct, we are good to go. If we are not, we come to make some adjustments. So but I know we are good to go. <laughs> so, hmm. it takes time a little bit to verify. So, while it is doing that, okay, so correct. So, we are good to go. So, also the, um, <clears throat> the third one say, what is the command to cut an entire f um, line in. Um, uh, in emac so to cut an entire line in emac you know we, we use um cut so we use ctrl k so that is um, c cut okay ctrl k so since we are using ctrl k uh -huh. to make an adjustment so since we are using ctrl k and we are already inside emac already so we don't need to be going outside coming back in that is actually a little too stressful we must actually know how to manage our time so we and um, but we have to do that and put it inside um, the cutting file, right? So the same thing what you are just going to do. So uh, I think I should do something here. So instead of us just um, doing the regular one that we'll be doing, let, 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 let me do something so you can actually do, also do touch, right? You can do touch, right? So when you do touch, you just, um, you create cutting, right? You say touch cutting, right? Cutting, see that is correct. So when we do that, by the time we ls, if you look at something now, so we have cotton, right? So now let us put something inside the cotton. So we should put stop. So another thing you can do is to put um, your answer inside the cotton because you know that your cotton is CK, right? You can do nano. So uh, instead of doing nano, aside from that, so let's try. We can do nano uh, cotton. Okay, it's not working with nano and. You can actually still do something like this. So 
So let's try um, cut. Double forward. Um, or we could actually use echo too, but I don't want to use echo. And double forward. Um, cutting. So let's put our answer there. So for cutting is control C K, right? Let's put it and you press enter. Only make sure you press enter and you press control C. Get so you stop the process and so let us ls. So you see our cotton is still there. So let us soft cotton. Mm. So our answer is there. Since our answer is there, so let us come here and we click check code. Start the test. And while that is going, so the next command is what is the command to paste on um, Emac? And where we'll be keeping that? Oh, it is successful. So where we'll be keeping the command? So I'll be using that same command I use right now. That is um, creating with touch, then using cut to impute our um, yeah, our text into the file that we've created. So uh, on norms to create a, a, a text file using cut, you just have to use cut. Um, greater than sign and you put the name of the file but because we already created the file already so we don't you just use a greater than sign you use double greater than sign get so to put and um, put in whatever you want to put inside the file so um, what we are going to do now is now the command to paste uh, so we are going to actually be creating a file a paste called pasting right so we input our hand sign to pasting so the command to paste what we are going to be doing is into um, uh, we are going to be using um, um, that is control Y yes control Y so that is instead of doing the um, regular echo um, echo C Y so we are not going to be doing that so all we are going to be doing is just to do that once one more time it's actually to um, it's not as fast as the first one so you do touch the name pasting right touch pasting right. So we can ls to see if this greater pasting is created. So you do cut um, double greater than sign and you put um, it the pasting. Right, pasting, press enter. So what is for pasting? Do C and Y. That is for pasting. Then, well, and also if you press enter here, why this cursor is still here? It is not going to save. It is not going to save anything. So, whenever you've written, you've used this cut method and this method uh, with cut, you need to press enter to go to the next line, right? So, well, before you cancel the process. So, to cancel the process, you press Ctrl C to cancel the process. Then, so when you realize you see it is still there, and when you sort, you sort pasting, and you see your answer there, so we are good to go. So, you can come here, check our codes, and... We are good to go. So the next one is, what is the command to search forward? What is the command to search forward? Uh, one of the commands you can actually use to search forward is C capital letter C capital um, S. And to search backward, I think that is um, C R. Yeah, that is control R. To search forward is control S. And to um, and backward is C R. So the command to search forward, we're going to be doing that too. So since we are actually inside Emac, so we we'll just be going straight to the point using our um, method, the method we've been using before. So because that is actually very fast. So we do um, C, um, you see S, and uh, you do um, what is the name? So we should save it inside searching. So we do searching, right? Searching, then enter. So when you sort searching, so you see that there. Uh, can check our code, right? And the next one again is what is the command to undo? What is the command to undo? So there are different commands we use. We can use to undo. Actually, uh, we have um, cxu. We have C to Q. Let me just let me type it here. So we have um, capital letter C, um, C, C X. You can use that to kill. Um, 
you can use this as cx it's actually uh, to to undo cxu you get to undo this when you see a command like this it means undo right uh, another command you can use is you can use cx uh, underscore you get c tag underscore so we can use that also and another one we can use is c tag um, forward slash we can use that so you, you can actually list all this inside you get to undo so we just put it so we can use any of those so for this right now we can just do um, um, echo c x u and what's the name of the file undoing so we do undoing and yeah, enter so when we sort undoing undoing so you can see that our answer is here so it means to undo so you can close this uh, come to check check our code for undoing and the last the last one is what is the command to um, quit emac so what is the command to quit emac so the command um, the command to quit emac is so sorry for that yeah. so the command to quit emac is okay it's great I'm so sorry for that. I got distracted. <laughs> Presently at work, so I just want to do this for everybody that have been finding it hard to you know with the ALX program. So uh, now with this, so to what is the command to um, to quit in Emacs? So the command to quit in Emacs we have we can use um, CX and we can use CC to um, quit our uh, Emacs. So we just do the same thing also. We can do echo uh, um, CX. So you know for the first one, for the undoing, we use CXU. So for quitting is CX, okay? So for quitting is this together and I'm going to be using um, echo CX and CC and Quitting, right? So when we sort quitting, so I think this we should be done and check the code. So the new code. And it's correct. Thank you very much once again. Um, please subscribe to my channel once again. Uh, you can drop below uh, in the um, comment section um, your questions and any other project you want me to work on thank you very much peace out